What's up guys, it's the video winner Gabriel here, and welcome back to my Pokemon or Us Battle Spot series. It's a rating Battle Spot series, which essentially means that we're going to be playing Battle Spot in the rating section. The reason for it is because we're going to try to climb as far above 1500 as we possibly can. Um, I've been to 70, no, I don't, I don't know where I've been, I was going to make some shit up then, because I can't remember. But I've been pretty high on it before, I've like done quite well in my own personal time. But this time, I'm going to do it on camera, and we're going to see how, it go, how well I do. It's not started off great, I'll hit challenge whilst, uh, whilst we search. As you can see there, we've played three games. Two of those came in the last video, and I was hoping to record straight away and go, wow, we've got the other two games. But the next thing we got to, like, 30 minutes. And you know what, I didn't want to put you through that, because there was a lot of sleep. Um, and it, it was very frustrating for me. Uh, so I didn't, want to sh I didn't want to show you that battle, to be honest, it was a very bad battle. So instead we've got two more, and there's the team, that is the team. There's a Gengar again. Now Gengar, something that someone pointed out to me before, I've got a Zoom which could have avoided the um, hypnosis. But at the same time, I didn't see the hypnosis coming. I'm going to take my Landorus for that exact reason. Um, the Magnezone also doesn't want to see the Landorus. He's got two Flyers though, and a Levitator if that isn't Mega Gengar. Wow, okay, okay. So we're going to lead off with Landorus, that's a given anyway. Other than that, we need something to deal with that uh, Talonflame, which would most probably be the Rotom. And then alongside the Rotom, we need something else that can destroy his team. Now, we, I think we have Hidden Power Fire on Roserade, Hidden Power Ice and Alakazam for a Garchomp, because it's bloody wonderful. Um, so it might be best to go for the Alakazam. Rotom, Alakazam, Rotom, we have two bad choices for it in that Gly uh, score and the... Um, I think I've forgotten the name of all of a sudden. Garchomp. But we can burn the Garchomp, which is always good. Yeah, but we do it, that's the way we are doing it, because we need to try and deal with also that uh, Starmie as well. So that's what we're going with. That's the, not the fastest of teams, but it's not the slowest of teams either. And this guy's got some choices to make. If he leads off with Gengar to, be, to begin with, we are going to U-turn out. Um, I am not going to go for the play of Earthquake again, because I, don't, I do not want to look a fool if he goes for Hypnosis. Simple. This guy's taking his time to choose as well. I mean, I took my time, but I think that was a little bit longer. It was, it was impolite. That's what it was. It wasn't that impolite. I don't know why I said that. It was fine. But here we go. Okay, let's see what this, way this, this young lady's leading off with. She is leading off with a... Well, we're leading off with Landorus first. It's showing that. Okay, that's good. There's a Magnetone. And it's not Air Balloon, and we are Assault Vest. So we can, even a Hidden Power Ice, I'm pretty sure we can live from this. Oh, then again. But we are going to go for the Earthquake. He does have switch-ins for it. I mean, do we just go for knockoff, actually? Um, and test for the Scarf. It's probably going to be Specs. If it's Scarf, you won't kill me with it. Do we just go for it? Oh, this is tough. Let me think. Earthquake will KO. He will call the Earthquake if he switches. Knockoff is the best play in that regard. I'm going to go for knockoff. I'm, I'm predicting to switch out here. He's got the hidden bar ice and he is scarfed. Okay. That's good knowledge. We shouldn't die from that. There you go. We don't die. And we get rid of that scarf, which means my earthquake will now outspeed and KO. So he has to switch. Has to. Um, I'm going to hit earthquake. Oh, Magnus is not very fast. We surely outspeed. I think we outspeed. I'm scared now. Yeah, we do, we do, we do. I don't know why I'm questioning it. We outspeed. We don't outspeed. Fuck. Now I look like an idiot. Oh, fuck, I've got no investment in my Landorus. That's why, you idiot. That's terrible. Um, but it's okay because my Rotom can... will outspeed. Because even if this is max, we are max Rotom. Oh, no, we're not, actually. I can't remember. This is really annoying. But I'm going to click the overheat anyway. Um, we can take anything this wants to throw at us. You can pull me down, that's fine. Because that just screams to me you've got the guard jump with you for the earthquake. That's that's not a bad play though, is it really? That's a pretty good play. He did outspeed us again. So I'm underestimating the speed of Magnezone, clearly. I just know that's its biggest downfall. Is that it's got really no speed. I do actually enjoy using Magnezone, but mine is always scarfed. Always. Like, maybe spec sometimes, actually, so that's a lie. There's the Gliscor. This will have Earthquake, and we have to switch out. 
four times effective. We are bold though. It's stab, we can't live it. I want to take the risk. I want to go for the wisp. I'm going to do it. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. it does go for the earthquake. Let's see if we can actually live this. Stay, 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 stay. No, we can't. We were never living it. I don't know why I thought about it. But also, if I brought my Alakazam in, we'd have no chance in this battle at all. Alakazam would just die. And I can't afford to have that. Because if that was the case, basically Alakazam would have gone down there and we'd be in the same situation because the gravity would have still killed it anyway. So we are going to fire off a hidden power ice on this thing. Um, we're probably not going to KO it. And if he's got the Garchomp, we've got a chance to kill both, I guess. I sacrificed my Landorus off very similarly. Um... And because of that, you know what, this this rating battle series at the moment is not going my way because I'm playing badly, I need to step up my game. That was poor, poor decision. I'm disappointed. But there we go, Hidden Power Ice. This, with, with no investment we will care, with investment we won't. No investment, okay, that's good. Because now I'm hoping Garchomp. If it's not Garchomp, it's going to be Mega Gengar, surely. And if it's Mega Gengar, we have to go for the Shadow Ball and hope to God we kill. It is the Starmie, okay. So this thing might not have... Um, I mean, we 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 could just... No, we can't. You know, we'll just go for Shadow Ball. There's no point protecting. We're, it's, we're, we're, we're not to the wall at this point. We're just going for it. And we... Oh, my God, it's sashed. Can we live? Can we somehow live? Yeah, we can. Wow, we eat that up. We eat that up without any problem. I am underestimating Alakazam's bulk. It happened in the last episode as well, and we do end up getting the win out of that one. Oh, that was very fortunate. Luckily, our Al Alakazam came through for us because of that, that techy little hidden power ice which I've put on there. Um, so at least one tiny good thing I did. Um, but there we go. Okay, so we're 1-0 off in this episode like the last one. Let's see if we can get two victories from this one. I'll see you in a second for the next battle. Okay then, guys. Straight away, we're going to hit challenge. Um, and we are two for two. We are almost back up to that 1500 rating. Um, we dropped out of it after the first loss, obviously, which is quite sad. But we're going to get back there. Uh, the second loss did not help us either. That kept us down there. Uh, but two wins. If we get this third win now, we should actually advance uh, above that, which would be pretty good. And that looks to me like a, um, a lovely team, actually. That's a lovely team to see. And it's against David. Right. Talonflame is also scary, but he see he must see I've got two good like good Pokemon against it in Landorus and Rotom. Now I think Rotom has to come again. Scizor, Electric type against the Politoed. Even Fire type against um Yes, it just has to come. It's just so good. It's so good. Um we may not lead off with it. I'm pretty sure Landorus has to come as well here. Mind you, Landorus isn't amazing in this battle, actually. Um Alakazam. Has a hidden power ice, which is okay against Gudra, but nothing else. Shadow Ball will hit everything else neutrally. Everything neutrally. Psychic will hit everything quite well. It's like shock, rather. Um, I think I have to bring it. Roserade is not great. Azumarill doesn't look that great. The Iger Slash looks like possibly the best second choice. Possibly. I need to think about this. Rotom is 100% coming. That's just a given. Rotom is too good. Well, yeah, okay, let's hit Rotom. We've got the Stone Edge on Landorus for the Talon Flame, which is good. We've got the Knock Off, which is just good in general. We have a U-turn for Pivot. And we have an Earthquake, which is nothing except for the Jolteon. Mind. Yeah, actually, you know what? It's, it's coming. It has to, I think, because of that Jolteon. Um, okay, so we're going to bring the same, pretty much the same team again, I think. I think it's the best team to bring. Purely because we hit everything neutrally, and Roserade does not really... Why do you Roserade? No, yeah, your Roserade's weak to three of his Pokemon. Yeah, let's use Alkazam. Right, we're going. Azumarill wouldn't have been too bad to have that water type if he's in the rain, if he sets it up with the Politoed, if that's, really, if that's the plan um, that David decides to bring. But no, we're okay. And that's going to be a, it's a Mega Scizor anyway. And um, we'll kill it. Okay. So David is issuing the challenge and he is sending out the Jolteon. We've led off with, I mean, it's definitely Hidden Power Ice. 100% Hidden Power Ice, but again, we are Assault Vest. I'm pretty sure we can live this, so I'm going to hit an Earthquake straight off the bat. If he wants to go out into Talonflame, that's fine because we can live anything Talonflame has and we can just fire off a Stone Edge. 
So uh, he's going to go for Hidden Power Ice. And we are going to take out this Jolteon here. And that will be a worthy trade if my Wanderers gets um, revenged. I think that's what he's doing. There's the Hidden Power Ice. We should have left this. Even Specs. We are Assault Vest. Oh my god. That is not my... That, my friend, that is not Hidden Power Ice. You have misgened. If that's what you tried to have, you have misgened. That is not Hidden Power Ice. And that's... That's okay by me. That means my Landorus is in a lovely condition. Here's the Mamre Swine, and once it, ah, it's not a Salt Vest there, okay, so this is a worse situation. Because Mamre Swine will most probably take us out with anything. So we have to switch. The Rotom is the best choice. It can eat up hits from this, and we can fire back with an absolutely lovely OB. But I would rather get the Wisp off and see what happens. Icicle Crash, we will eat this up. We are bold. We can deal. Oh, yes. That's a bloody lovely amount to see. Fight. We are hitting a wisp. I don't want to take the risk. Please don't be talent flying. That's all I ask because that makes that turn redundant. But wisp is... There we go. Some absolutely lovely damage off on this. That I'm, I'm very happy to see. And we are going to Volt Switch straight out and go into the Landorus here. You can try and set up, like, oh, it, 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 I, I hate Gudra because Gudra is a very strong one. It's very difficult to deal with, but we are Volt Switching out. We'll do a tiny bit of damage and we can try and gauge if this is Assault Vest or or not. But we're not going to really tell because it's going to eat up anyway. Yeah, that did nothing. That's probably Assault Vest. But we, we, we are invested in some form of attack, so. Um, the Landorus is probably the best choice considering we have the knockoff. Um, just to do a bit of damage and the Landorus I think now is redundant with him having Mammoth Swine in the back so it makes sense this thing has got muddy water which is not great super effective damage but we do eat it up quite well we're okay and I can fire off probably the knockoff to get rid of this assault vest and then we're in a better situation if he wants to go out back into Mammoth Swine he does, Mammoth Swine will lose his item and again we are in a good situation I'm happy with that Mammoth Swine can't do anything, it's the Rotom, is what I'm trying to figure here. Oh, it's a good chunk of damage. There's the Sash as well, we broke that. Um, Landorus can't actually switch in now. So I think, in case he wants to predict me, I'm going to hit the Stone Edge. If we die to Ice Cork, there we go, Shard, that's fine, I'm okay with that. There we go, because I'd, I'd rather that than have to switch in the Rotom and have to face the Gudra again, because that, uh, basically that Mamre Swine had done its work, it had done all it needed to do, and we are going to just hit off an overheat, overheat here, there's no point going for anything else. We hit the overheat, and uh, as long as he stays in, he does stay in, gets the rocks, that's nothing. My um, Alakazam wouldn't even get hurt by that. And we're in a great situation, because once again, now I can, I can even sack off my Rotom if I need to, and that is definitely going down. Sweet. So we are 2-0, we have one Pokemon left, we know what it is, we are in a good situation. Uh, the Volt Switch is not going to do anything, anything at all, but the burn damage over time is going to do enough. He's got the Muddy Water, so we're going to have to stay in, um, because I don't want my Alakazam taking any damage, it is my win condition right now. Um, and we're just going to fire off a an Overheat again. See how much damage we can actually do to this thing. I mean, it'll be practically none, because like I said, I think this is Assault Vest. Oh god, and we win. In a negative um, special attack. Minus two now. And here's more water. There we go. But the burn damage will take it further, and we don't even die from that, so we get another attack off. And my accuracy fell, and there's a citrus berry, and, and all sorts going on, but that's fine. Okay. Looking at this, I can't see me losing this game now, but I've said it. I shouldn't say that. Let's just Thunderbolt. Um, I don't want my attack to drop anymore in case he wants to do anything else and just see if he damages it. No damage at all. There's the muddy water. This will kill us, obviously. We've just seen how much damage it does. And now I'm pretty sure my Alakazam can come in with any one hit this wants to go for. Um, I'm pretty sure we can love a Draco. Especially with, we've been, we've been taking super effective hits like, by nobody's business, haven't we? We just took a Hydro Pump from the Starmie for crying out loud and that's a strong attack. Um, here we go, and the side shock should kill it from here, considering it is assault vest. So let's just go for it. This little guy, he was lucky in my lock, and it seems to be working for me in the battle spot series as well. Check on my lock, check out. Great. So, 
It is sap so that's pretty cool. Makes no difference. Please go for a grass type attack if you have one. But that's going to kill it, surely. There we go, we do take it down, and that's a nice 1-0. I would have loved for it to have been less close, but I think we dominated that one quite well, especially as soon as we saw his entire team. Uh, I don't think David maybe bought the right ones, but we did get a 100% record in this Battle Spot episode, which is fantastic, and we should be above 1,500 now. I'm not going to check because it'll take me to another battle, but you can expect to see this next week anyway, so you can enjoy it then. Whew, that's a lot of words. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy yourself, please don't forget to smash the like button below the video because it shows your appreciation. And I'm excited to be bringing Battlespot back. It was one of my very first series on my first channels, and it was really fun to do. I hope you're enjoying it as well. Have yourselves a damn fine day, guys. I'll see you next time.